So you have never 3D modeled before. Not a problem. Now before you start your 3D adventure, I'm gonna give you the talk. The talk that I think everyone should have heard in the beginning about whether or not 3D software is for you. Now, if you've ever seen Big Daddy Guru's donut tutorial series, you are gonna learn a lot of good stuff. But more importantly, 130 minutes into it, you are gonna see this hilarious comment. Explains what I'm doing and learning to my mom. My mom, why don't you just bake a donut and take a picture? <laughs> like, I gotta be honest, this is great. But yeah, that's right. As funny and sad as this is, mom's got a point. Which is, if all you want to do is create super photorealistic pictures, like of things that you can probably find in real life, you should probably just be a photographer and master Photoshop instead. Because in the time that it takes you to learn how to model, texture, particleize, and light a donut from scratch, a random girl has already gone to the donut store, taken a picture, dropped in a filter, and got 3,000 retweets and a sponsorship from the local donut store and her donut is gonna look way more realistic than yours will ever be because she didn't have to waste her time making the beautiful environment around it like you did my point is if you just want to create cool pictures you should probably use the software designed to master pictures the same thing actually applies to video if you want to make photorealistic videos about things that you can probably find in real life you should probably dedicate your time to a program designed to master video footage like Sony Vegas most good video software already have libraries of professionally made photo realistic 3D models that you can easily import anytime you need them. So if you just need to fill your scene with trees, chairs, tanks, and jets, most of those models have already been made for you, and you just need to go into your software and drag them in. Also, if you are learning 3D in order to bring your story to life, then you are in the wrong place. The easiest way to bring those to life visually is with photo and video editing software, and probably become a webtoon or a comic artist. Because in the five years that it's gonna take for you to master modeling, UVs, texturing, rigging, white painting, and human animation, you could have worked at McDonald's for a day. Found a local aspiring Instagram model in your area, hire her for an hour, tell her to cosplay as your character, take all the photos and videos you need, apply an artistic filter, and just dub your story over it. It's gonna take 1% of the time, 5 times less frustrating, and it's gonna look and feel 100 times better. Because that girl's face is gonna come perfectly textured, her joints perfectly rigged, and her animation will be flawless compared to anything you'll be able to make without motion capture. Honestly, I think that 2D is the way to go if you are a writer, because the bar for 3D art is super high. But everyone loves 2D art, and it's a lot less frustrating to learn to draw your character in 2D than it is to learn to create it in 3D. And a lot of new 2D software can even use 3D techniques to give motion to the characters that you draw, and it's super cool. So consider that if you haven't already. So at this point, you're probably wondering, when should you learn 3D? At what point is it actually a good idea? And well, in my experience, it really just comes down to three categories. The first one is, it's useful. There's always a demand for modelers. Just about every single small indie company is always looking for modelers. 3D models are used in commercials, movies, random medical things, applications, mobile apps, you name it. The more you do it, the better you'll get. And the better you get, the more you'll be able to charge. Number two, you want to create something that doesn't exist. You have an idea in your head. Maybe it's a mech. Maybe it's a character. Whatever it is, you already know that you can't download it. You can't buy it. If you want to share it with someone, you are going to have to make it. One of the most unique things about being a 3D artist is that we can create moving characters and environments that you can't find in reality. We can make people more beautiful than anyone you've ever met. We can give our characters animations that would be impossible for any AAA stunt double. We can make our environments do things that will never be found on the weather forecast. That's really our biggest strength and the main reason I would recommend someone to learn 3D. The other reason that you might want to do it is if you simply enjoy the art of creation. You enjoy making the objects that end up filling up other people's projects. If you just like making trees and you enjoy making different different kinds with different colors, you don't really have a tree movie you're trying to make, you just like making trees and making them pretty, then that just means that you're a tree artist. And by all means, knock yourself out. Because I guarantee that your trees are gonna look better than mine, and I will be happy to download yours for my projects. The people who just like to make random things do pretty well here in 3D. Like, there are people who specialize in just modeling things like hands, feet, ears, and eyes, and you will understand why very soon. Anyway, those are the reasons why you should or should not start 3D. If after watching this video, you still think that this is something that you want to try and do? If you join me next video, I will show you how to find your model and art style. So, as always, don't forget to ring that bell. It's the only way you will know when I upload next. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you.